All right, guys, makeup today. Let me get in the best lighting possible. Um, guys, I bought a new camera. I'm very excited. This is not it. This is, we're just, we're working with it. But, oh my God, already? Okay, yes, battery needed needed replacing. Okay, so makeup today, I had this idea like, oh, I'm gonna do really simple makeup. And it is simple makeup, but then I ended up adding like a very shiny glittery thing, which I really like. And uh, yeah, let me show you what I have. So for my base, I have the Obagi Hydrate Luxe Moisturizer. Before applying that, I put the I Do Care Bright Side Up. It's a vitamin C. I really try to, you know, put a vitamin C on in the morning. And for eye cream, I use the Cosmetics today. We have Lumify in. Okay, so for the frame of the eyeshadow look, I have the Dior Face Palette. I use those two shades. No, these two shades primarily. And then this Dose of Colors is on the lid. Heroin Make Brown as the eyeliner. The Milani Stay Put in Hooked on Espresso in the upper waterline and the lower waterline. The base is the By Terry in Copper Crush. On the face, we started with the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Then use the Dior Skin Correct Concealer as foundation. I've realized I don't really like this under the eyes. So um, it always changes. I don't know, concealer is a weird thing for the under eye. So this is foundation. For concealer on the under eyes, I have the Beauty Blender Concealer. The banana low lighter down the nose and I use this beauty pie luminizing wand on the face for the cheekbones brows is the Milani weekend brow and their pencil so for lips is Milani nude entrance lip liner with these these a pacifica glow okay so I've swatched the things worth swatching we have the eyeliners on the left the two shades from the Dior palette the dose of colors and the by terry and then that's the lip with the liner and the pacifica glow stick and then the bottom is the luminizer from beauty pie i will have all of the shade names in the description box as usual but those were the things worth swatching for you so i'm trying to revisit highlighter i kind of stopped wearing it for a while um but i really like this one it's very glowy very pretty Shiny eyebrows, I don't know guys, whatever. Can't really do anything about it. I didn't have powder on today, so I am probably gonna look quite greasy soon. I'm not really going anywhere today, I don't think. So it doesn't really matter. I really like this lip. So the thing with the Pacifica Glow Stick is I find that some days I really love it and other days it dries my lips out. So I think the, I just have a lip balm on. I'll put like a Laneige lip balm on and then apply this and then apply the lip liner. I really like wearing lip liner last. I mean, I do it often. I think it helps kind of frame the lips a little. Um, it also kind of blends all the lip colors together better, but that's the eye makeup today. I really like this eye makeup. I might just do it again tomorrow. I'm... <sighs> I do fairly easy eye makeup during the week and then when I film for you guys usually for vlogs then I'll try I'll try out more items because I, I want to and I have time because it's usually on the weekend but this is what we got going on today. Okay, part one of Trader Joe's. This is going to be snacks and then I'll have a frozen section and then I'll have like a fresh and bakery thing. So two of the garlic non crackers. These are really, really good. I already reviewed them. They are just really good garlic crackers. Two of the Rose Fingerling Potato. Um, the Maple Espresso Black Tea. I don't know, this just sounds really, really good. Has anyone tried it? This is kind of a regret. I opened this in the car. I thought they were different and I had actually already got them before. Like, they look like this and they're fine. They're just not like, I'm not obsessed with them. Okay, these are seasonal. Yeah, I got these last year. I remember I only was able to get them once, but they're really good. The texture on them is delicious. One of the plantain crisps. This is new to me, the sweet and salty snack mix. Mini peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Half dipped chocolate chip, uh, half dipped chocolate covered potato chips chocolate drizzled caramel popcorn, roasted salted Virginia peanuts. Oh, Andrew would like this. Dark chocolate sunflower seed buttercups. These sound really amazing. And the, I didn't know where else to put this, but the Greek chickpea parsley and cumin. So, um, also they're doing plastic bags, which I thought was unlike Trader Joe's, but uh, they're reusable. 
All right, guys, are you ready for this second, like, unwrapping gifts I bought for myself? Uh, so this is a little Starbucks kit I found at TJ Maxx. Also, again, really great gift idea if someone really loves Starbucks. This was $16.99 and you get two mugs and like whatever's going on here. So again, I've been in a mug mood. We had the Sriracha mug. How cute is this Starbucks mug? I don't know if you can see, but it's there's like wavy designs on here. Ah, there we go. Note the wavy design. <laughs> 12 ounce mugs, you get two mugs, which I'm imagining one mug from Starbucks is like already quite expensive. I don't know how much that is, but I'm excited. So cute. Actually, this is kind of weird. When you're holding the mug, no one's gonna see your, I don't know why they don't, is this why it's a TJ Maxx? <laughs> when you're drinking, no one's gonna see your, I mean, whatever. Okay, so you get four flavors. This is peppermint hot cocoa. Marshmallow hot cocoa, classic hot cocoa, and double chocolate. Let's see what they're shaped like. Oh, God. You only get one hot cocoa. I don't know. I thought I was, I, I don't know what I thought. I thought we were getting like many hot cocoa. In here anyway whatever it was $16.99 you get four hot cocos and two mugs for $16.99 I mean it's it's still a good price and it's still a really nice gift that I got for myself okay these dark chocolate sunflower seed buttercups mmm okay I don't know that was a weird sound so they're really good and you can taste the sunflower in them but I thought they would be some sunflower seeds in them maybe like ground up for a little bit of crunch like that was a full on what i was expecting but they're still good and it's a good size 